Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have an emergency service call, we got water leaking everywhere. <laughs> Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. Another day, another nightmare. Let's start by turning off this pump and finding some shutoff valves. All right, let's see which pump is which. Uh, I have no idea. Anyways. Off. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Alright, that's it right there. Alright, that's the one. Man, look at that smoke. All right, let's try to, oh, I can see that's the water squeezing through the seal. We also got this little circulator pump. It's pulling 1.5 amps. We gotta shut this down. Man, the leak is all the way down there, but look, water made its way through here at some point. Jeez, and all the way down there. Oh man, and that's going through this. I know the panels in here for those little circulator pumps. Got another large air handler. What's up with all these nasty stains here? Uh, circulator pump. It was labeled at one and two. Oh, look at this one. This one tripped. Got that one turned off. Close this. Close this. Got a valve here too. That's done. And one here. And that water should stop. All right, the water officially stopped. We're gonna have to pull this thing apart. We got some nuts and bolts here, nuts and bolts, and the power supply. The motor was spinning. We probably just need to get rid of the pump itself, but I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe to take this whole piece in one, send it in for a rebuild so they have someone in a spare and hopefully we can get a whole new setup here. What a lovely day to spend the day off. It's snowing outside. I'm like, ah, I went to sleep late, watched a movie. I was like, you know what? It's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna take off for the snow day. We're gonna relax and then finish off the week strong. You get a call at six o'clock in the morning for this and i'm like you know what i'm gonna be right there he's like yeah please come right now so i'm gonna get dressed right now i went straight back to sleep for 20 minutes <laughs> stretched and it was on our way to get here let's take off this top plate i'm gonna start by taking off taking out the electrical we're gonna well i came right off nice uh we're gonna take off this top piece disconnect the wires here Oh, this is a three-phase motor so it's probably 208 three phase let's, let's get that out little boxes here everything is loose of course not surprised so yeah let's get to get that out we already got the water off we got four nuts and bolts on each end and this whole setup should come right out. The pump seems to be working, but the seal failed. So my best bet is just give them a whole brand new setup right now if we can get one. 
and from there we'll take this into the shop and let them let them rebuild this one so they have one as a spare you know you gotta have you gotta have stuff for emergencies gotta have stuff for emergencies yeah let's see how can which wires are coming from here yeah they're color coded so i'm gonna cut them here so we know which one is which so we'll have the right rotation right away when we change it that's enough that's the power there let's just kind of get this out of the way and there's no ring here this thing was just loose okay all right next step it's kind of a tight and annoying spot would have been better if it's one of those i don't know how i always get stuck in these situations i'm also going to want to change these gauges because i i've been here before and i noticed that like this stuff never works right i don't even know what we're reading i would like to know for the future probably change all those these people seriously need some maintenance and as you guys know Oh, we got four nuts and bolts here. As you guys know, my socket set was stolen in this very building, actually. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to order a new one. And look what happened. I didn't get a new one, and now we need one. Fortunately, we're going to have to try this with wrenches. Christian's doing that side while I do this side. This shit is tight. There we go. Oh, and it's still super tight and rusty. Jeez, jeez, jeez. coming off there we go nice. it's the worst thing to use adjustables for this but it's coming out all right I really gotta get that socket set again All right, two more to go on my side. Let's get it done. Jeez. Use the two big wrenches. Chris, Yeah. use the two big wrenches. Gotcha. We need the leverage. to go all right we got all the nuts and bolts out over there and we put a little bit of put this tie wrap to connect over there just to support this pipe a little bit let's separate this right here all right all right it works out all right let's see if we can separate this, this somehow one, like, I mean one. These tie wraps are pretty strong. We just need a little bit of support. Right. Let's separate this thing. There we go. Just whatever water is left in the pipes. Who cares at this point? Alright, we're separated here. Should be okay. Let's do the same for the other side. Yeah, 
you might want to get a rope on this one. Hold this? Yeah. Hold that. I'm gonna put a bolt in there for now. All right, you can let go. Okay. Yeah, I'll hold it for now. All right. Let's get some rope. Right now, we just got these last four bolts. Let's loosen those up. Oh wow, that's loose. One is already loose. And we're gonna get this thing right off. Let's just support these pipes with some rope. And we go to the truck. This side is pretty good. That side could use some love. So, set these off. Pull this thing out and see what we could do about this. Let's make sure we're not hitting against that pipe. I need to get it a little bit through here. Hold it good, man. Hold it on this edge. All right. I'm gonna try to push it a little towards me. Okay. Hold on, let's get that water out. Get the water out. Best way to get this thing out. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna gotta give me a little bit of strength here, man. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna try to get it out here. All right. Try to help me lift this. Yeah. Awkward positioning, but let's get it out the way. Okay, that's out, All right. that's out, man this thing is heavy man, alright come around, come around, All right. come around, maybe through here, you're gonna try to grab this end, while I grab this end we're gonna walk it out. You know what? That's got a muscle. This is through. Alright. I got it. Let's get this thing out of here. Alright, let go, let go, let go, let go. Alright. This thing is out. Alright, that thing is out of there. Put some rope up here. Holding on to that. And we got some rope up there holding up there. Some rope holding up top here. And another rope holding like that. I think we should be okay for now. This pump, I called the suppliers, the pump specialists, and they said all pumps, especially at this size, is custom built. I try to give them the serial number of this Bell and Gossett pump. They couldn't find it. He just said, send me a picture of the tag, this and that, but you know what, we're close by. We're probably gonna have to drop this off. Let them match it up. Uh, I think the best thing to do is, we gotta talk to the customer first, but drop this off, let them rebuild it, and also give us a new setup so we can install the new one and have a rebuild as a spare. Got those little orange auto mechanic straps. We got them hooked up onto there. So I think we're pretty much safe on that side. The other one's propped up with some cable ties and rope. This side is no big deal, it's not much pipe. That side was a bit concerning, but I think we're fine. As far as now, we got this pump over here. I'm gonna bring it to the pump specialists. They're gonna rebuild it, so we keep one on as a spare. Billy agreed to that, and we're gonna get a whole new pump motor assembly. They said that this is all custom built. They have the parts, but it's gonna take a day or two to put together. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this off, and we're gonna come back and install the new one and drop off the spare. For now, we're gonna wrap this video up from here. The best thing is that we actually got the water to stop. It was leaking down into the lobby. We're on the second floor. And you know, it is what it is. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'm
catch you all next time.